so now we go to question 16 so let's go to question 16 now right question 16 question 16 question 16 okay let's go so what i was telling like i say just be free man ask me anytime you have a question just leave the comments there you know you can learn from me you can learn from me tag you know please do not like do not subscribe if you think i don't deserve that you know like button or if i don't deserve the subscribe button but if you think it do do your stuff brother do your thing do your thing my sister my brother my sister my friends so whatever you know what i'm saying if you think that i deserve to you know to get the subscription button you can just do that but if you think i'm not deserving then it's okay but you only can give me credits when you know i deserve credits but if i don't deserve you know I totally understand. So let's go to question number 16. Number 16. Let's go. So question number 16, excuse me. Oh, 15 is done. 15, we don't want you. You, you almost make me uh, make mistake right there, man. So A and C, 15, A and C. So you go to question 16. Question 16 right here. So, man, we see geometric progression still. Okay, question 16 is saying, I hope everybody can see or you can pause you see the question there so you can pause if you want and read all the question da, 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 the fourth term of geometric sequence is 64 the product of the face and the third term is 16 which of the following start is true so i think i can do right away here down here excuse me let me put a space here okay which of the following is true excuse me they give us only a only b only c only b and c or only b and c. And ah. The first term of geometry, so now we say solution. The fourth term of geometry means term 4 is negative 64. Negative 64. How about it's negative 64? And the product of the face and third term means term first and third and term 3 equal to 16. 16. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so first of all, you see, excuse me. The face term and have a over, so you can never know the face term and the common ratio have opposite sign the common ratio so we're gonna have to work on this you're gonna have to work it out do never pick pick uh, pick those multiple choices you have to work it out and when you get your answer then you see okay so now we say let's translate it let's interpret this question so okay what is t4 we know is since it's geometric so we know tn equal to a other and minus one so 10 4 what is 10 4 means 10 4 equal to a do you know a face term no, we don't know. So, a ara. Do you know ara? No. But uh, this is 10, 4. So, when I say n is 4, 4 minus 1 equal to 3. So, this is my 10, 4. Now we go 10, 1. 10, 1 is just a. 10, 3. Okay, 10, 3. And they'll come and plug them here. 10, 3 equal to a is a ara in the formula. Right? Ara don't know common ratio. n is 3. 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So, this is 10, 3. And this is 10, 4. So, I can plug them here. So, 10, 4. Excuse me. They say 10, 4 equal to 64 so what is my 10 for my 10 for is a ara 3 equal to 64 they say 10 1 times 10 3 equal to 16 what is 10 1 10 1 equal to a times 10 3 what is my 10 3 my 10 3 is a ara power 2 equal to 16 excuse me so what does that mean excuse me so now excuse me now let me draw the pen quickly so now i'm gonna have this same as a so this same is a, uh, uh, right here, this same is a, a, r power 3, I'm rewriting this equal to 64, and a times a is a square, but not necessarily, r square equal to 16, 16, it's getting hard here, man, I hope everybody can see 16, so what I can do, I call this first equation, I call this what, second equation, I can divide this except of mathematics, you can take this divided by this or this divided by this, whichever, to get other value which is unknown, excuse me. excuse me. So, I'll say, excuse me, what do the one face? The first term and the common ratio, are okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll take term, this term, divide by this, okay. So this term divided by this, I think, okay, this term divided by this, no, no, no. I think there'll be something here. The full term of geometric is negative 64. Negative 64. This is negative 64. Negative 64. And the product of the face and third term is 16. This is a face 
and take 10 equal to okay so we got this one so now we can divide face divided by the six okay so i think i can finish here okay so we're gonna say okay take face oh let me take a new page man because i don't want to confuse properly it's not a confuse i want to you know show you clear because i don't want to like, let me see can you see clear okay, here we go. Okay, so now we say, so I'm gonna continue here, right? So I say, divide by one over, one divided by two, what is a one? A one there, so if I can see. So one is this one, which is A, ara, A ara, A ara, power three, equal to 64, divide by A, square, ara square, over 16 so when you divide means one a and one a go away two other and two other goes away so we left with other over a 16 divided by 4 equal to divided by 16 equal to 4 so we have a a r over a equal to 4 or in other words say common ratio equal to a 4 or 4 a okay so now we want to go to the opposite to the option the face team and the common ratio have opposite sign we're not sure the common ratio equal to 4 no, the face term must be negative. No, and if you look at the options, no. So it means we made a mistake because it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying it can be all the options that are true. So we gonna have to. The check out question. Okay, we gonna have to check out one. Our solution, not the question. So the question, the first time, let me, let's read the question again. The first time geometric sequence is negative 64. Means the first term. First term is negative 64, it's true. So fourth term means A, R. We, we want to reach it because when you make mistake, you want to see if you can rectify. R, N minus 1. A is the first term. R, 4 means uh, N. What is N? Any? For 4 minus 1 equal to 3. So T4 equal to 0. Now we go. The third term is 16. So third term meaning. And the product of the third face and third term equals 16 means face time third equal to 16. Okay, so A face term time third term. So our third is A ara square, which you got A ara square equal to 16. So now, excuse me. So now, so now we say. We decided to divide, so we say this negative 64 should be negative. So negative 64 divided by that one right there. So negative 64 divided. So we did divide. Then we get negative 4. Excuse me, here it should be negative, and this should be negative. My policy I should be negative there. Yes. So that's the only thing that you see what I'm saying that should miss. You see, if we go negative here, it should be negative. So here it should be also negative. So our common ratio equal to negative 4 a yeah now it makes sense in options negative 4 a so now this common ratio and a must have a negative uh, different sign because they say here the face term and the common ratio have the opposite terms they have the opposite sign yes it's true you know why common ratio equal to negative 4 times a possibly it could be because common ratio equal to negative 4 times a but we don't know a our a did it say a is possible or negative so the face term and the common ratio have the opposite signs it could be but let's just wait for it. the common ratio is 4 no of course common ratio is not 4 because you don't know the face term so if you don't know the face term we can say look common ratio go negative 4 times a so since we don't know the face term so we can't say common ratio is 4 because you say common ratio 4 means you know this a equal to negative 1 but are you not sure now whether it's negative 1 or not? So you can't say that. So this is not true. The first term must be negative. Um, but how do you know the first term is negative? How do you know? Mm -mm. The first term must be negative. But how do you know though the first term is negative? Uh, 
because okay I, i'll just say only face a is true because if you say face m negative excuse me if you say face m is negative if you say face m is negative for example uh nah it don't even make sense like it's not necessary the face m shouldn't be negative but somebody will say okay why well, if it's negative the face 10 let's say negative two uh, no it's, it don't make sense it don't make sense at all see it don't make sense like how we we don't know the face time but they say the face time must be negative must be negative okay let, let's make it let, let's make let, let, let's make a subject this face time for example excuse me so we want to say a let's make a a equal because if you make subject from here a a equal to r over negative 4 a if have a negative 4 if have a negative 4 a equal to r over negative 4 so how do we know the face same is negative how if it's positive um, why you say face same is negative let's go you know what let's not waste a lot of time it's easy this question just something silly here. so it's me okay so we're here right look the concept here is very simple if somebody give you a over b equal to negative 5 what that mean for you to get negative 10 meaning these terms one of them must be positive one of them must be negative there's no way you're gonna get negative if they have the same sign so one must be positive and one must be negative for example to get negative 5 means it could be 10 over negative 2 which is going to give a negative 5 or negative 10 over 2 equal to negative 5 so by any means for you to get negative means these two terms must have a different sign that's all so only option a only option a those other business no it doesn't make sense when you say the first term must be negative there's no there, there's no like this could be okay now we come here excuse me our uh, so it was ara excuse me ara which we know how we, we we know how to get it from that question ara over a equal to negative four you see this is what we have excuse me so this is what we have right so we say for us to have a negative form means this could be 4 and this could be negative 1 to get negative 4. Or it could be, so the common ratio could be positive 4 and A could be negative 1 to get negative 4. Or R could be negative 4 and this A could be 1 and still give us negative 4. So there's no guarantee which one is going to be positive which is going to be negative so for that case i can't say the face term must be for that case i can't say the face term must be negative or r must be positive so i'm saying but for facts i know the a one is true they must have different sign different sign but it can be either way just like i've explained here if you want the same please let me know g i said again means r over a equal to negative four but negative four means this can be positive over negative one is equal to negative four or it could be negative four over one equal to negative four. So this sign could be either way. The concept here is the concept here is the phase term and the common ratio must have a different sign. That's all. So only a. So I'll go for a only. So all question sixteen on the a. So this is my answer here on the a sixteen on the a sixteen on the a option one on the a. Okay, now we go question 17. I think I can do here. Suppose 2, negative 2 is the fifth term of geometry. Suppose negative is the seventh tenth of geometry means term 7 equal to negative 2, 5, 6. And negative 8 is the second term. Okay, they say negative 8 also is the second term. Okay. So now we have a term 2 equal to negative 8. The first term A and the common ratio and the 10th term are as follows. So in other way, what they want us to find? They want us to find A common ratio other from these data given here and 10th term. 
excuse me, so I'm gonna have to use this tool to get this data in, okay, excuse me, so I'm gonna say, okay, T7, so we know for geometric, Tn equal to A, ADA, N minus one, ADA minus one. So now, let's plug in for the face in second, so see if it's T7, means it's gonna be T7, so T7, equal to A, A, we don't know, ADA, we don't know, but a seven, seven minus one, seven minus one equal to six. See, and also for T two, is gonna be A is A. R is R. Two minus one equal to one. So, but we know the value of T seven T. T two. What is T seven? My T seven is negative two. 5, 6, I hope everybody can see there, 2, 5, 6, equal to A out of power 6, T2, negative 8, A out of, so I can divide this, to solve this equation, I can divide, take face divided by the second, etc. or either way, but I prefer take face divided by the second, so when you divide them, you can divide them, so when you divide here, excuse me, divide them, so A and A cancel, one R and one R go away. Oh, because the base, uh, these are the same exponents, so you get six minus one. Six minus one equals five. So come and divide here. Negative and negative go away. Two divided by eight is too small. Twenty-five divided by eight equal to three, and I'll be left with one, which is sixteen. Sixteen divided by eight equal to two, and then here I'll be left with R power five. And then here thirty-two means is two power five equal to R power five. So my R equal to two. So for that case, we know when the power are the same, just like how they say also, when the power are the same, also the base must be the same. So R equal to 2. So our common ratio equal to 2 already. So I got my common ratio. Common ratio equal to 2. Now you want to get, excuse me, you want to get A. So I got my common ratio ready. So this is sorted here. Common ratio is sorted. I can use this common ratio to get other term. Okay. But I also know. From term two equal to negative eight. Okay, term two equal to a add a n minus one, but it's two minus one equal to one. But a term two equal to negative eighty a r. But I know my r equal to two. I know my r equal to two. Oh my goodness! I hope you saw it when I was solving there because I realized now I was moving to my side okay so here i divided let me show you here i divided this question divide by this okay so we say we got i don't know if you saw that part because i realized now the camera was turned other side so what we did we divided this one for the question then we divide r and one other so we left with r power five and divide also this one we get 32 so 32 this r power five which number power five 2 power 5 equal to 32. So since the power the same, so I don't need this, so the base must be the same. So our common ratio equal to 2. That's what we did, just in case if you don't see. So now you want to get the value of a n, just the value of a. So I could have used this on temp 2, which is what? Temp 2 a r. What is that temp 2? Negative 80 a r. But I know my r equal to 2, so I'm going to say negative 80 a times 2 so I want to get a so divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 cancel cancel so my a equal to negative 4 so I have my r equal to 2 and a equal to negative 4 so what we want to get now they say also they want to get what 10 10 you can get 10 10 so 10 10 equal to a r n minus 1 so what is n 10 10 minus 1 equal to 9 t 10 equal to a what is my a a now I have a equal to negative 4 Negative 4. R, R equal to 2. 2 times 9. So you can plug this in the calculator or you can just do it and you get the answer. So it's okay. So let's plug that one. Negative 4. Negative 4. Bracket, bracket. 2, 2. Exponential. Exponential. 9. 9. Okay. Negative 20 for 8. So finally, T10 equal to negative 20 for 8 so we have a common ratio we have a n t10 so we want to look here at the options r equal to 2 a negative 4 
Okay, so of course, if you look here, this uh, da, 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 a equal to negative 4. So if I look, this and this is negative 4. So this one, no, no, no. Okay, now we go. So we want to go to r. What is r? r equal to 2. This r equal to negative 2, so it's not true. So this is not true, but this is true. And if you put in decimal, excuse me. So, oh man, I'm kind of confused now. So I'm saying, so let me show you now. So, man, him, I'm confused now. What do you mean about that? Look, a negative four, a negative four. It's true. A equal to negative four. And here a equal to negative four. So these are positive, so I don't need them. So negative four means this one. It has a negative four, and this has a negative four. So I'm gonna have to compare and check the others. R equal to two. R equal to two. This is two and this is two, it's true. This is two and this is two, it's true. Okay, so this also is true and this also is true. So now we wanna go to the last one. This is two power 11, this is two power negative 11, but our answer, ten power, two power 10 equal to negative. So this is the answer here. So option five, this no. Option five, question 17, five. And if you put in the calculator, you're gonna say, Oh, what do you mean? This is negative 248 and this is negative 2 power 11. Put 2 by 11, 2 negative 2 exponential 11. You're gonna get the same answer. See there, 24 8. Believe you saw it, 24 8. So, option 5. Question 17, option 5. Okay, question 17, option 5. Now we go, question 18. Okay, so now we go to question uh, question number 18. So let's go question 18. This is easy the question that I think I should not even do it. Somebody could just plug in a calculator and get an answer, or you can just play around with it. But it's okay, I can do it. I can just do it for you, man. No problem. I can do it for you. So we go, okay. So that's a question right there. They say which of the following are true? So da 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 da. This is not true. As you can see here. You cannot, this number has a power, so you can. There's no rule that you can only multiply this and that one, and then you can't do it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, you can multiply only this number and this, and they leave this exponential. So that's not true. So this is not true. Just by looking, it's not true. You can only multiply, like, for example, if somebody give you x times y power k, you can say x, y power k. No, it's not true. So it has to say the way how it is. There's no nothing you can do here. You say the way how it is, so that's not true. You cannot multiply x times y, x, y, and then you put k. No, never do that, please. Never do that. So it's not true. Now we come for the second one. For the second one, excuse me, you can plug that one in the calculator, man. But you need this type of calculator. See what I'm saying? You need this type of calculator. But I can show you also slowly how you get an answer because you're going to say, oh, we're not allowed to use a calculator. Okay, let me show you now. Okay, so for the left hand side, I'll take left hand side. So I'm going to say negative 27 meaning negative 3 power 3 so it's like negative 3 power 3 and remember so negative 3 power 3 and then it's power what power 3 so mathematical and then you have 1 over 2 negative 2 but I can reciprocate this if I want and if I reciprocate this could be 2 power because see there's a 1 here it's going to be 2 power negative 1 if you reciprocate means you bring it up but it's going to be negative I will still have 1 over 2 but this and this cancel so we left with negative 3 over this and this cancel will be left with 2 negative 1 so it's not true also it's not true because this finally let me say negative 3 and then you can reciprocate this up when you rest it's negative 3 on top and when you reciprocate it's going to be 2 power positive 1 which you go to negative 6 so it's not true i can show you in the calculator also if you want to see okay so we're going to say excuse me uh shift in and then put my three i'll show you closer right but now just plug in everything and then I'll show you closer. Fraction, just me, shifting, and the square root of negative 27, negative 27. And then you come with the denominator and they say fraction 1 over 2. I'll show you right now. A half. Exponential, a half. 1 over 2. Let me show how you do so that you can see, okay? So, see that calculator? So, I'm going to say fraction 
and you see here you see cube is negative 27 so it's a cube so shift it cube negative 27 negative 27 I hope everybody can see over a half so say fraction a half one over two bracket and there's another half oh excuse me power half power a half a half one over two which answers no be the same just like how we said okay so give the answer Excuse me, I think I made a mistake in the couple of my polys, right? One over two, one over two, my polys, just second, right? And then bracket, bracket, just second, right? I want to prove to you in the calculator. But you can plug in the calculator. I, I'm not supposed to waste all this time for this something small, excuse me. Okay, one over two. And then exponential power bracket one over two. One over two. I hate this stuff, man. Okay, let's go. So it's not true. You gave us negative for I think that's the case, then I was wrong on my calculation at first. Negative four. Okay. Let's pause a little bit. I wanna check page, excuse me. Excuse me, I see what I meant. Okay. This, this answer is true. Because, you know, I don't know how did I cancel. Because when you rest, okay, this is going to be negative 1. Negative 1, you can't cancel with 2. This is going to be negative a half here. Negative half. So when you rest, okay, it's going to be, excuse me, let me do it again. Yeah, I apologize. I did very wrong here. Excuse me, sorry. So if you take negative 27, it's going to be negative 27. 3, left hand side. I take left hand side. So this half is going to be 2, negative 1. And then power 1 over 2. So now, these negative 27 is like say negative 3 power 3, and then we have a root of 3, and then this is going to be 2 power negative a half. So 3 and this root is going to cancel. So we left with negative 3 over, and I can reciprocate this up because remember, it's like 2 negative what? 1 over 2. So I can reciprocate this same say negative 3. When you reciprocate, it's going to be equal to 2 times positive what? A half. It's going to become positive this time. So if it's going to become positive, remember, any number, power half is like square root. So it's going to be 3. This is going to be square root of 2. Means it's going to be square root. If somebody give you x, a half. Meaning, square root of x. It's like you flip this. It's going to be 2 over 1, which is 2. If somebody give you x, 2 over 7. This same as say x, square root, 7 over 2. If somebody give you y, 1 over 3. This time you say y, and then you flip this number 3 over 1, which is 3. 3 over 1, which is 3. So the second one is true. So, sorry about that. So this is true. Second one is true. First one is not true. Second one is true. Now we go for the third one. For the third one is not true just by looking. Excuse me. 3 over 4. Square root of 6, 4. Square root of 6, 4. So now we go. Square root 64 equal to 80. So it's not true, man. Because look, we have 3 over 4. When you square root 64, you're going to get 80. And you square root of 27, no, you cannot square root 27. So uh, it's not true. So I'm saying, if, because if, no, it's not true. Like, it's not true. It don't make sense. Plug in a calculator, you see, this is not true. So only A. Only A. Plug in a calculator, you see. Because look, let me, let me take it. Let me show you here. So you say, 3 over 4, let's come here. You can square root 64, I agree. But you cannot square root 27 because you can separate mathematically. If you have a square root of both, you can put them separate. It's acceptable. From now on, you should know you can separate them acceptable. If, like, somebody give, for example, x over y square root, same as say x square root and y square root, acceptable. That's why I separate this. So 3 over 4 times. 
square root of 64 equal to 8, but this one you cannot square root. So for that case, that's where we start. So this is not true. So this is not true here. So only B. Question 18, only B. So option 2. Option 2. Let's go to question 19. Question 19. So let's go straight to the question 19. So we go question number 19, right? Excuse me. Question number 19. So let's get back to the business. Nineteen. Question number nineteen. Let's go to question number nineteen, right? Okay. Question number nineteen. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, an equation. Please ask me, right? Don't have thought of me. Question number nineteen. So this is easy one. Man. I'll do straight away. Right there. Right there without wasting time. Right there. Straight. Okay. So, excuse me. So just a second. Okay. Suppose that. So we have this. Whereby x are all element of integers. So this is an integer. Z means integer. Which of the following are true? So if this integer, what is integer here? Integer means all those numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not like 1 over 3. No, that's it's not integer. Not fraction, not uh, square root. It has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they say these value of x are integers. Means x are element of integer. Z is represent integer. So now we should know, right? Z represent what? Integer. So now what do the one here? They say if this A is between 0 and 1, excluding, it means it should not be 0 exactly. It should not be 1 exactly. But in between it can be half. 1 over 3. 0 0.7 means it's between 0 and 1. Or negative 0 0.6 is between 0. But no, 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 my apologies. It's 0 and 1, not negative. So it has to be like 0 0.3, 0 0.5, or 1 over 6. In between 0 and 1, not negative. Whereby, <coughs> this value of x are integer. Means x can be 1, 2, 3, 4. Even negative is okay for x. So which of the following is true? They say, if x is less than 0, and then this number should be greater than 1. No, it's not true. I'm going to disprove this. That's not true. I mean, this is not is wrong. Exactly. You know why? Let's take that expression here. Say, a, x. They say it must be greater than 1. When this x less than zero, for example. Okay, so we have a condition here. Excuse me. The condition say this a it must be between zero and one. What that mean? It can be zero point three, zero point five, zero point seven to zero point nine. But it should not be one or zero. Excluding this sign here means excluding. If it was including, you say means even 0 and 1 but uh, 0 1 should not be part of it part of it so okay so a for example if you take a half a half is acceptable let's say a half and then this x they say can be any integer so if you put any integer the value must be greater than 1 that's how they say if you put any integer means the value must be greater than 1 for example we took a equal to a half let's say because a half is between 0 and 1 okay let me show you it's not true that it must be greater than 1. Because if you put 1 here, yes, because a half per 1 is... No, it's not even greater than 1. Because a half is less than 1. So it's not true. So the first one is not true. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? It's not true. It's not It's not true. Because I have taken the number here. You see, they say A must be 0 and 1. So I've taken a half. See, and they say x can be any integer. So if I take positive integer, you see a half. A half is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is not equal to 1. Is is less than 1, actually. Let me say it's less than 1. So it disagree with the statement. So it's not true. So the first one's not true. So this is not true. This would have worked only if this number was going to be negative. So if it's 1 over 2, excuse me, negative, let's say negative 1, negative 2. Yes, this is greater than 1. If you plug in the calculator, excuse me. If you plug in the calculator, it's going to be greater than 1, this number. Well, let me show you without calculator. So this could be, uh, excuse me, this could be 1 power and negative 1. And this is will be 2 power negative 1. Or, no, w without wasting time, you flip it. When you flip any fraction, it has a power. This sign change. So it's going to be 2 over 1 
power 1. And we see 2 over 1 equal to 2. So it's 2 power 1. But a 2 power 1 is greater than 1. It's true. So this statement is going to work only if this x was going to be less than 1 or less than 0. So it's not true for that case. So I disagree. Mm, so I'm saying I disagree. Just something quick. Okay. If somebody give you y over x power negative, let's say, 2. You may flip his mathematical acceptor because say x over y and this power is supposed to become negative, negative become positive. So here's the uh, negative is going to become positive. That's what I did here. I flip it and this power become positive 2 over 1. And they say 2 over 1 is 2. So 2 is greater than 1. Only, so this statement is going to work only when this power is going to be negative. But uh, they say an integer because they say it can be any integer. And then when you put any integer, it must be greater than 0, which is not true. Is not showing is greater than zero because if I put positive integer, which is a half, which is 0 0.5, and we see 0 0.5 is less than one, and they say it must be greater than one, so it's not true. So, not true. The case one now we go for the second one. Excuse me, I think the second one I show you already. Excuse me, I say whenever you have the same base, you only write one base and then you add the power. So, this is not true because it should be when the base are equal. See the base equal. There's a multiplication. You write only one base. See a a. You write only one base, and then add the power. Add the power. So it has to be x plus y. That's the answer. But here they multiply the power. So this is wrong. Wrong also. Now we go for c. For c, excuse me. Not. We write not here. Good not. Not. Excuse me. Sorry. If somebody give you, let's say x t and the square root of k. See, mathematica, any number which have anything, it doesn't have anything misses over 1. For example, if somebody say 2, 2 misses 2 over 1. When somebody say 5, means 5, just 5, means 5 over 1. So anything is always over 1. Anything, like let's say u, u over 1 equal to u. Student. So we say, okay, so this time I say, I'll say k over 1. So in that case, I'm going to say, I have a x power t, and then if you want to remove this root, what you do, you take this power here and then you flip it so it's going to be 1 over k and then root disappear so if you want to disappear this if you want to remove this root what you do you write same thing here but you flip it that's all so if somebody give me let's say uh y power m let's say 2 over 7 so this can be y power m is just here and then it's going to be 7 over 2 i flip it so same with that question here excuse me the c they give us a a a power y and they give us root x so what happened this x means this is over one so i'm gonna write a y and then i'll remove this root which is going to be what one over x so a y times one is y over x so y over x so this will be true this is true y over x so only c is true so option three Option 3 is true. So, option 3 is true. Question 19 only. 3 is true. Only C. Now we go for question 20. Only 3. C. Okay. Now we go to question 20. Question 20 is easy, man. <clears throat> Same of the rule that's fine. Okay, let's go. Question 20. So, for question 20, shows me. Let's say which of the following are true. So they give us this one right here, which is not true already. I see. Or they say these and these and these are true. Uh, quickly, for CSC is not true because quickly one thing. <laughs> it's not true, man. Question ten. Let me tell you why it's not true. First of all, where did this guy get three from? Because you can't break this number. You can't. Because it's not true, because you know why? They say we take two out here. You cannot take two out because this number has exponential. So I'm saying, because if I had to break this, let me break here. I could say two times three, and they both have a a. So they both have a. I hope everybody can see. They both have a a. So you can't take three alone. You cannot take three alone. Face, you, you, can, you, you, you can, you can, like, you cannot take, you can't, not. Me. you can't take the three you see it has a power no it's not true so it's not true so what they did they say okay we're gonna take three out here that's all they see they take three which is not true 
same here if i had to break this i'll say that's equal to three square or three square but uh we have a negative a so it's three square by negative a you can is not acceptable so or in other way or i could have say it three times three so three times three i hope everybody can see and then negative a so you want to tell me i'll take three out and three out no you cannot because they have exponential ball let me write here down so everybody can see it's not true there like look six when you break this is gonna be I'm right here it's gonna be two times three but they have a and these is gonna be three times three they have negative a you cannot take three out because they both have exponential a but you cannot do it there's no such a rule so I'm saying if so it's not it's not so this is not true it's not true now we come here excuse me so since this is not true even that one is not true also so cancel that because this stuff is not true they say the cancel cancel this and this agree this and this is true but this and this is not true because this one say this and this is true because if cancel cancel three so to a to a this and this is true but since this and this is not true then everything is not true now we go for the next one excuse me so they say expand this okay i can expand it here so i'm going to do it the answer is b and c quickly but let me show you okay so for b x 1 over 3 plus y 3 and then what square so square means i'm going to multiply by the same thing x 1 over 3 and then plus y 3 also means same thing times the same thing so let's multiply now x 1 over 3 no nah, it's not true it's also not true x 1 over 3 times x 1 over 3 is going to be x so we know we say whenever we have the same number same number uh, what, what happened now excuse me if somebody give you a x times a x so what that means the base are the same so i'm going to write what a add the power so it's going to be 2x so same here the base are the same i'm going to write here x because x 1 over 3 times x 1 over 3 so say x x add the power so 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is going to be 2 over 3 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 1 over 3 we get 2 over 3 2 over 3 so it's going to be 2 over 3 yeah it's true now we got this one and that one first one and second one which is going to be plus plus x on that one is going to be x 1 over 3 and y 3 now we go for the second one second one face one this time this can be x 1 over 3 times y last one of the last one so plus y power 9 so these are like terms x 1 over 3 y 3 x 1 over 3 y i forgot this one my powers because say hey, say this and this one base are the same so add the power 2 over 3 and they go face one with the face one is okay face one and the second one x 1 over 3 times y 3 plus now we go second on the face on x 1 over 3 y cube now we go second of the second yes y and then you add the power 6 my policy 6 6 so for that case these are like terms so it's going to be 2 x 1 over 3 y 3 and then x 2 over 3 and this is y power 6 so let's see if it's the same yeah, x over 3 2 3 y 3 yes true yeah it's true so second one is true b okay now we go for the c c seems to be true i think so let's see so for c <coughs> excuse me it's true you know why because what happened here they fucked out the common term here so if you factor the common term means is a 2 so if you take a 2 we're going to be left with 1 plus See, this is a4, so a2 went out, a2 went out. So we left with a2. So we have a square root. But a mathematical, whenever you square root anything, excuse me, let me, oh my goodness, let me take out a page. Okay, so given for c is square root a square plus a power 4. So let's say, let me say a square 1 plus a square. So 
I can factor out that one. Okay, so mathematically, whenever you square it, let me write here. When you square root x, meaning the answer, let's say x square here, x square, x square if you square it, x square, y square, or any number, the answer must be plus or minus always. X answer. If you square root four, the answer must be plus or minus two. Plus or minus. That's the answer. So it's not only two plus or minus two. You know why? Because if you want to go back, look, two square equals four. Even negative two square equals two, four. That's so the answer must be plus or minus. If you square root nine, the answer must be plus or minus three. Because if you square if you square three, equal to nine. Square root negative three equal to nine. Negative three times negative three c equal to nine. Also, that's why the answer is plus or minus. So for that case now, if we square root this one, meaning the answer must be plus quickly another thing excuse me everybody can see that also when you square root let's say uh, x square times y I can separate the square root so it's acceptable so I could say square root of x square times square root of y is very acceptable mathematically when you square root x square, you're going to get x, but a plus or minus, this one you cannot square. So you see the way how it is. See, it's acceptable. You can separate the root. This is a rule. Acceptable. See, a good example, if somebody give you uh, 4, let's say, times 16. I can separate this as, okay, 4 times square root of 16. Square root of 4 equal to 2. Square root of 16 equal to 4, which equal to 8 plus or minus and look it's true because this and this equals 64 square root of 64 equal to 8 plus or minus true so for that case now I can separate this so I'm gonna say if this I could say square root of a square and square root of I hope everybody can see there square root of 1 oh man my pen uh, dying now square root of 1 plus a square. I separate this one and this one. Why do they? Because I know square root of a square, I'm going to get the value here, which is going to be a alone, plus or minus. This one I cannot, so I leave the high is so plus a square. So we have a plus or minus. See? So that's a final answer. So finally, I could say my face answer is positive, which is a same thing, but I take a positive 1 plus a square. And my second answer is negative. So negative a square root of 1 plus a square. When I square root everything, it's a positive 1. But this is for if, excuse me, if our a is greater than 0. And this one is if our a is less than 0. So it's true. C is true. So C is true. When you say a is less than 0 means 4, negative 1. So c is true also. So for that case, c also is true. So this c is true. c equal to true. So question uh, 20 is b and c. Question 20, b and c. b and c is option 4. b and c. So well, now we go for question 20, 21. Question 21. Question 21. Question 21 is very easy. Excuse me. Question 21 is very, very easy. My goodness. Okay. Then put my tools right. Question 21, let me close my mother pen also is getting finished. Man. Oh, then they get right, right, okay. Question 21, they say which of the following are true? Come on, man, I don't have to do this because you can plug in the calculator or you can just do okay. Okay, so this is the same as say, let me take left hand side. So, at a one, at a one, excuse me, at a one, how many three? I think three power four. Exponential four. It's not true, excuse me. Three exponential 4 equal to 8 of 1. So we're going to say this is going to be, we have a negative there 
and then 3 power 4 because negative just there and they have a negative 1 over 4 outside so now we can simplify this say okay 4 times negative 1 negative 4 divided by 1 negative 1 so it's going to be negative 3 I mean this and this negative 4 divided by 1 equal to negative 1 it's going to be negative 1 but this is not equal to 3 negative 1 because this has a negative this has a positive so the first one is not true a is not true because this has a positive this has a negative so we say negative 3 is negative just there negative and then 8 1 is 3 power 4 but now when you simplify negative 1 so it's not true now I go for this one I think this one I explained to you before if somebody give you x over y power let's say 3 negative if I want to change this I can reciprocate I say y over x you've changed this stuff like up and down and flip it y over x and this become positive so same here a over b negative x they flip it b over a positive x is true this is true now we go for c c is not true you cannot <laughs> just say 3a x a no not true true it's like if somebody give you x plus 2 for example power 2 you can't say x square plus 2 square but you can say what you should you should do you should expand it by say x square means x plus 2 and then you start to multiply x square x times 2 to x x times 2 to x will be 4x and this is going to be equal to 4 so that's not true but further you're going to do something called binomial expansion or pascal triangle but for now it's not true so only b so only b copy into one copy into one only b two only b only b Okay, now we go for question 23. Question 22, my phone. Which question is it? Question 21. Now we gotta go for question 22 now. Question 22. Man, I forgot to copy this question, I think. Yeah, I got it, this one. Excuse me, question 22. 